I wanted to take a few minutes this morning and express gratitude from the bottom of my heart for everyone who contributed this past weekend. Uh, of course, the weekend began with our Aspire Women's Conference. We had so many people help with uh, setting up, with uh, just the, the planning, the Women Who Rise ministry, all of the months of prayer and planning and distributing tickets and making sure that information was known and, and getting flyers out and communicating on social media. There were so many people involved in that. And just want to thank you. Uh, that outreach was such a blessing to so many I was told that we had 250 to 300 women in attendance, which is just uh, spectacular, especially when you get to hear a quality message. And I'm told that the speaker continued on sharing the message 15 minutes after the power went out. Uh, the ladies in the, in the sanctuary immediately responded by holding up their cell phones with their flashlights on them. And so that was a great thing. And by the time I showed up, because once the power came out, there were some needs that needed to be addressed. Uh, when I showed up, uh, women were still singing praise to the Lord. But I wasn't the only one who showed up. Uh, in addition to the women who were serving, and there were so many uh, who were participating in different ways, uh, I looked down and I saw a number of people showing up to help in one way or another, either helping with cleanup, which was partially postponed because it was so dark, uh, but helping with that, with uh, just making sure that everybody got out to their cars safely. There were people who just pulled over and turned their headlights on so the women could get to their vehicles safely. There were others helping with uh, getting the fire alarm system off. That was a whole thing. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, helping find flashlights and other things. So I just want to express gratitude to everybody who participated in the Aspire Women's Conference in one way or another. And then, of course, on Sunday morning in our morning worship services, we had no way of communicating that we were still going to have morning worship services. Uh, we did our best to share information on Saturday night. I posted on our announcement page on Facebook that we would uh, be still having service. And just for future expectations, unless there is an extreme physical danger to us gathering, for instance, substantive ice on the road that would lead to roads being canceled or the power being out at a time when uh, the temperatures are freezing or the building would enter temperatures that would be dangerous for people to be in. Those are the only conditions in which we would cancel a morning worship service. I don't anticipate those happening very frequently. Um, but just for future reference there. But what was a great blessing was that without a way to communicate that or without having the ability to communicate that there would be extra needs. Uh, we needed to move things around in the, in the foyer to make sure that there were no obstacles for people coming in. We needed to make sure that the sanctuary was well lit, which meant finding a lot of a lot of candles and setting that, them up, making sure those candles were in places where they were not gonna drip wax. And there were so many other considerations the distributing of the Lord's Supper, how we were going to do that. And we adjusted the method that we did for distributing the elements, uh, how we were going to assist people as they left the sanctuary. We had so many people show up early for the first service to help out, just saying, where, where can I be? Where can I be used here? How can how can I be effective? Um, and, and and that was such a great blessing, and that continued throughout. And it would be impossible to name everybody because I saw after both services, I saw individuals helping uh, elderly members of our congregation or people who might have difficulty getting out of the sanctuary, helping them out with their flashlights on their cell phones, making sure people were safe, uh, communicating uh, what was going on in the service. We just had so many people involved. And so I just want to express gratitude. Uh, when we needed God's people to step up, you did. And, uh, and, and you stepped up in a big way. And to everybody who contributed in any way, whether you think it was big or small, I just want to say thank you. Sunday morning's worship services were among the favorite worship services that I've ever been a part. Uh, God did some exciting things. Um, just the, the intimacy of the service where we were all so close together and singing praises to the Lord. Uh, the candle lit kind of added uh, a little bit of a different dynamic to the service. And, and again, just thank you for the flexibility. Thank you for those who were able to come out. Um, I know not everybody was. There were so many considerations. People taking care of needs at home and, and loved ones and making sure that your families were fed and, and all sort of considerations. But, but for those who were able to come, who helped 
I just want to express gratitude uh, to those who did not see the announcement come through to us that we were gathering or we weren't able to share information with you or you weren't able to receive it. I, I do apologize for that. We could not control it, uh, but uh, in the future, hopefully, as we continue to establish sort of the the norms and, and when we will gather and those sort of things uh, so that you can understand uh, what to expect from me in, in pastoral leadership when these things occur. Hopefully that will smooth some of those things out. But um, I just want to say God bless. I look forward to this upcoming Sunday. May the Lord bless you.